my newest quadcopter and it is awesome. It's entirely made out of carbon fiber plate, carbon fiber tubing, and 3D printed nylon. This makes it super strong and super rigid. I started working on this thing about a year ago when I made the SOLIDWORKS model for it, but then it took a while to actually make it. These carbon fiber plates are really complicated and it would be cut out of a CNC machine. After that was done, it went together pretty fast. This thing has a lot of cool features as well. It has a GPS module, so it can lock its position in sight, which makes it much easier to drive. It also has a two-axis gimbal, so filming will be much better. And the best part is it's all collapsible. So these arms fold in, the landing gear as well folds in, and they snap into place like that. So check out that! That is not bad! Oh, also the antenna for the, or the GPS module you can unscrew and fold down as well. So that's not bad. That is a pretty compact size, and I'm pretty impressed with that. It's a little bit heavy, but I think you pay that, pay that off with the rigidity of it and the strength. Because I don't think you'll be able to break this thing by crashing, crashing it like the last one. But, yeah. So I have done some flights with it at my house, just pretty small around the, the yard and stuff. And I was having some issues with spinning around in circles and crashing. <laughs> that one of the motors was slightly tilted so I used a combination square to make sure each axis was completely parallel to each other and that seemed to solve the problem. So now I think it's time to go try this thing out on my football field at my school and see if you can get some actual footage and some actual movement out of it not just a couple feet off the ground. Let's go try it out! Okay here goes the first test flight arming should be armed. Okay, so the copter is armed. It's a little bit windy today, so let's see how this goes. Let's try it again. Try some loiter mode now. Eh, it's not doing so hot. Just a little crash. I think just the landing gear gets stuck in the grass and causes it to fold when it lands sometimes. You gotta fix that. But it still looks just fine to me. The battery is a tad bit warm. But besides that, it's looking pretty alright. Sweet! It actually works! I'm happy. I haven't broken it yet, too. So let's rearm and fly again. stop for today because it's pretty windy I don't want to push my luck. The battery still has a good amount of charge on it but oh well. So next step is I think I'm going to add an FPV camera on here and start controlling this thing from goggles. So stay tuned for that for next video. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.